So I just realized that I'm driving right through Wisconsin Dells. Uh, I didn't even think about it. Uh, Wisconsin Dells is one of those like Gatlinburg kind of themey little Niagara Falls type of places, you know, like tourist trap. But I've always, I love tourist traps. So I'm not saying that in a negative light. I really want to go there, but I've called like three places in Wisconsin Dells, like the totally 80s place and everything's shut down for the season. Wisconsin shuts down in November. And I get it. Usually it's 50 feet of snow or whatever. I understand, you know, why a business would do that. But damn it. Do it next week. I'm here today. I want to play. So I'm going to go to Wisconsin Dells anyway. I'm going to see what's in Wisconsin Dells. And uh, I'm going to have some damn fun. I am going to have some fun. Even if I'm just walking up and down the street looking at closed buildings. Damn it. I'm going to have a good time doing it coming with me are we good let's do this hey everybody this is brandon bishop the executive producer for asai tv which has put me on a never-ending road living the van life heading to every corner of the nation filming awesome television on this show, you'll see what it takes to run an independent streaming television network. You'll join me for life at home and on the road, and hopefully plan your own adventures. I'm Brandon Bishop, and this is the Asai TV Life. Doesn't matter how much research I do on these trips. I always forget things like, oh yeah, Wisconsin Dells is right here. Now the Paul Bunyan restaurant's closed on Wednesday. Wisconsin shuts down on Wednesday. That's just it. Don't go to Wisconsin on Wednesday. Totally 80s shut down in October. I don't even know what's up here. I know they got a bunch of touristy stuff. You know, the Ripley's and all that kind of crap, but should be there already. Did I get off in the wrong area? There's totally 80s right there. I can't believe they shut down. Jerks. Look at that. I want to go in there so bad. Shut down from the season. Come on, look at the coolness. Damn you for being shut down. I hate it so much I want to go in there. If there's ever a place tailor-made for your friend Brandon, here it is, and they're not here. Let's see what the sign says. Uh, look at all the awesomeness inside. Why can't you just say open and mean it? I guess I'll just peek through the windows like a pathetic little kid at a candy store that's closed. Man, it would really make a lot of money on me, I'm telling you. I'd buy shirts and crap and crap and more crap. I thought The Simpsons was like a 90s thing. Oh, come on. That kick-ass wall of VHS tapes I got in there. It's like a tunnel, and then you get in there and there's a Moon Man and MTV stuff. This is crazy. Why are they shut? I'm so mad that they're shut down really let down. Now we're in the candy kitchen and oh my god does it smell good in here. I think they're open. I will take the double cheesy with the cheesy caramel okay. combined. Yeah, I'm running away from the candy kitchen uh, with the best cheesy caramel popcorn I think I've ever had in my life. I'm gonna grimace once again at the totally 80s place. So I'm really bummed. <laughs> I said that a thousand times, but super bummed that they're closed. But good news, uh, Circus World is a little circus museum here in town who's also closed for the season, but I called them and they said, uh, come on down. So we get a free private tour of Circus World Museum and uh, that's like 10 minutes away, 12 minutes away. So that's the next stop. First, I'm going to do a selfie, at least with the sign. <laughs> Why are you closed? I like this sticker, but it's not really sticking on there very well. So I probably just paid five bucks for something that's going to end up on the side of the freaking highway. I really don't understand me. 
I really don't give a damn about my brother. He's trying hard to make it right. I don't even know what's going on with this city. I'm only an hour away from uh, House on the Rock for the morning time. Paul Bunyan's restaurant's right there. There's breakfast. It is open tomorrow, according to the internet. Look at these crooked ass cabins. These crooked windows, those are awesome. Love this stuff. I'm 15 minutes actually from Circus World, so. And they're opening up just for me. Yay! Sometimes you just gotta ask, you know what I'm saying? Have a little something for them in return, you know? I bought them popcorn and uh, I'm putting them on my television network. Not to mention with you, but it's uh, sometimes you just gotta call and say, hey, I would like to do this, but even if you're closed, do you think we can do it? And sometimes they say no, and sometimes they say yes. And they said yes. So Circus World, you kick ass. I'm excited about this, very excited. This is the best damn popcorn. It's like dipped in caramel and cheese. Really, really? Usually you gotta mix them up, but this is already pretty mixed up. It's pretty mixed up. Never eat popcorn after me, because this is how I do it. Especially when I'm filming with one hand, eating popcorn with the other and driving with my knee, which I'm really good at. Still, don't do this, unless you're really good like me. And don't eat popcorn after me. Uh, uh, I can't get my tongue in there. I said that recently. Oh God. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm in Baraboo, Baraboo, Wisconsin. You got a nice church. Is that your thing? All right, Baraboo. Um, right up here around the corner is the Circus Museum. Okay. Cool. Is that the Circus Museum? Or is it up here a ways? I love coming up on places and having no idea what to expect. It makes me really happy, actually. It says it's right up here. I imagine this big red building, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait. I see El Elfinets. Uh, exhibit Hall. Circus World Museum. Nice. Nice big brick building right there. Cool. Now, how do I get in the back? <laughs> I see a lake back there. I don't think I'm just putting, I don't think I'm going the right way. All right. Cool little old animal cart, whatever you call that. Is this all the, this whole thing? Elephant house? What, this, this whole thing is the, wow. I thought it was that one building back there. I, apparently I'm in for some walking today. Okay. Oh my God, this whole thing. All right. <laughs> okay, now I'm excited. I thought it was just gonna be like one of those buildings and da da da, there we are. I have shorts on and my Ivalice cut off shirt and I'm going to do a shoot. I could put on my Asai TV uniforms and bring out the big cameras and all that stuff, but it's not really what this show is about. It's just little fun, quick stops, and I don't know if this is gonna be quick. <laughs> this, oh God, I gotta pee too, this is bad. Ooh, I really gotta pee. Yeah, you ready? <clears throat> okay. Who are you, where are we? Uh, my name is Scott O'Donnell, I'm the director of Circus World here in Baraboo, Wisconsin. We're one of 12 historic sites for the Wisconsin, state of Wisconsin. What is this place? I mean, how did this happen? So in 1884, five brothers from Baraboo by the name of Ringling started their circus. 
Uh, it was a small enterprise to start with, a big top that sat 400 people in 1884. But within less than a decade, as you see over my shoulder, the big top had grown to a tent that sat over 12,000 people, and it moved every single day. Staggering operations, the logistics of which have not been matched to this day. It's why the Department of Defense comes and studies the circus prior to World War I to learn how to move massive amounts of people and equipment. Uh, it, it was the most popular entertainment form of its generation, and it continues to evolve and to uh, entertain uh, small and big productions all across America and all across the world. What's this? Let's give it a whirl. Uh, this will be uh, some audio for you for sure. <laughs> seven national historic landmarks, which you'll see behind me and around me. We're in historic Ringling Bill. This is where the Ringling Brothers themselves dreamt, built, conceived, and exported to the world. One more time, I'm sorry, the, I got uh, shadowed you. Right. Yeah, in three, two, what are we doing out here? Here at Circus Road, we're blessed to have seven national historic landmarks in a national historic district called Ringling Bill. <laughs> Uh, so we're in the historic ring barn. This is where the Ringling Brothers used to practice their acts during the winter months to get ready for the season ahead. So in this space where we are, it's where the equestrian acts in particular would. Uh, bareback riding and liberty horses. Uh, why it's called a liberty act is the horses were at liberty uh, to run and uh, do formations at their will. Uh, typically under the guidance of a trainer and presenter. So the circus starts by horse-drawn wagons. It's an equestrian art form, but then of course technology come, uh, catches up with the circus arts and automobiles and trucks. <laughs> Who are you and where are we and what is all this stuff? Dave Salutis. I've uh, been a 40-year staff member at Circus World. 
uh, grew up in Baraboo, part of my DNA, so to speak, but we are in the Wagon Pavilion, the Deppy Wagon Pavilion, and uh, it's the largest collection of authentic circus wagons in the world. Scott, thank you first of all for uh, opening your doors for little old me. Oh, our pleasure. I can't believe this place. Um, <laughs> we're, we're a hidden treasure for sure. I've already filmed for On the Roadside, but uh, it, he'll tell you, like I've had a big whatever eaten grin on my face <laughs> ever since, uh, and this is only one part of it. Only one part, yeah. We're 64 acres and seven National Historic Landmark buildings during the summer, all live entertainment. Live performers. What kind of live entertainment and performers? Oh my gosh. The circus stuff, right? So, I mean, yeah, jugglers, flying trapeze, performing goats and llamas and dogs and elephants for one final year until they retire and there's so much going on. I mean, I'll piece in some of the footage that I've taken from this place into this little uh, Asai TV Life show. We don't have much that's light. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's in tonnage. How do you maintain all of this stuff? Because it's a, it's because a lot of the stuff probably still works fine. Like it you got does. a, you got what, what is this called again? The little band. So that's a band organ. A band organ. But there's also instruments called calliopes, and the circus it's called a calliope. If it's, uh, it's on a midway or something, calliope is what most people would call it. Want to touch history? But yeah, we have we have a whole wagon restoration team. Uh, so wood carvers and painters, historic painters, and gold leafers and and welding and all those elements that goes into keeping this amazing collection vibrant and, and alive for and future generations. And you're still generations. doing add-ons and stuff. You're getting upgrades. You told me the yeah. office building's getting like a big upgrade. And You bet. Yeah, we do new exhibits uh, every year because we have a lot of repeat visitation. If you're in the Midwest, uh, we're a tradition. Uh, if you come to the Dells uh, in particular. And this is in Baraboo, right? Baraboo, Wisconsin. So it's very close to the Dells, about 12, 15, 15, 15 minutes, minutes yeah. down the road. Uh, it's the hometown of the Ringlings. This is where they all started. I think a lot of people thought maybe Florida or someplace like that, but no, nope, right here. You're seriously, if someone oh said, I'm going to make you an offer, what is this thing with all the golden animals? Well, of course, everybody would say priceless, but you know, it, it's at least someplace close to a half a million dollars. Like That's right it? That one wagon. God, RVs cost that much. This they seems like do. it would be like $15 million yeah, or something. Right. That is insane. Thank you guys, and Dave, thank cool, you man. and everything. I'm uh, blown away grateful that you guys let me come in here and film today. Come back and see us. I'm, yeah. I want to see it when it's happening. Yeah, I want to put, paint my face it. up and come dance Shoot with you. Now, I, as, I, hands. as I said when we were filming, this right here is like, that is huge to me because I remember those trains going by and just being like, just stop, stop, I'm gonna look inside, just stop. And those held all the performers and animals and everything. Yeah, the crew, all the equipment, uh, it really was a, zip a traveling zip code. Uh, the sil silver snail, as uh, we called it, those of us that lived on the train and called it home. You know, it, it looks like a train car, but this was home uh, for so many performers. I can so for identify so with that, years. and I love it, yes. Yeah. No, this is awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Scott. Absolutely, you bet. And I will be back when it's operational. You said, I'm sorry, it starts? Uh, so we open at the tail end of March, and then we run through the end of September. March. Yes. Sometime next year, I'll be back in Wisconsin Dell. Everybody comes to the Dells for March break. So and see the ready. city when it's actually open. Yes. <laughs> Bring your bathing suit and uh, have a good time. Beautiful. So why should people come out here? Give me the pitch. Dave. Scott. <laughs> you should come to be immersed in the awe and the wonder that is the American circus. I mean, for over 200 years, this art farm has been crisscrossing the United States, bringing the best and amazing talent and artistry, sights and sounds and smells 
It's truly a sensory experience, and only here do you get to step up to and into the world of the circus, learn about all the history and the heritage that went into creating the greatest show on earth, and then step under a big top and be no farther away than 30 or 40 feet from an acrobat, you know, hanging by their hair or juggling uh, fire or, or training a llama, uh, which that's an interesting, you know, you got a duck. Uh, <laughs> good, good aim with the... Uh, Llama yeah. spit, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, but it's truly an amazing institution here. I got a, they gave me a sticker. I got a magnet. I think the gift shop's open like all year round. Wow! That just happened. That was like, that Wisconsin is awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and move up here. I'm, uh, I love the mold place and this circus museum. Freaking unbelievable. They told me that. I'm actually in Baraboo, Wisconsin. So they told me that uh, a couple blocks up here is like a really cool downtown area. He said it looks like Back to the Future. There's an alligator. And uh, they said it's just a really cool town with lots of cool places to eat. I'm starving. I don't even know what time. What time is it? I can't. It's stuck on stuff. <laughs> Come in. I got my hands full. Oh, that just happened. I'm so happy about this. Definitely want to represent that place. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, and yes. A lot of stickers from Wisconsin and Minnesota and even South Dakota. It's still on there. <laughs> I don't know how long that one's gonna last, but hell yes. Someone's jamming my Sharona over there like, oh, there's a thrift shop right there. Okay, Baraboo, Wisconsin. Who knew Baraboo? Uh, I didn't. Apparently, apparently there's a little square, a little downtown area that the uh, Scott and Dave told me is really cool. It looks like this might be it. There's a neat cake shop. Baraboo Big Top Parade. Maybe I'll come back in July because I've got to explore this town. Look at this, it does look like Back to the Future. I gotta park. That's so awesome. Oh my, what is this? What is this? What? Vintage toys? That better be open. Of course. Of course they're closed. Why would they be open? Oh, come on. It's probably best that they are closed. I'm trying not to spend every dollar I have. Okay, what is, give me something that's wrong. Oh my God, it smells amazing here. Give me something that's wrong with this little town. Little old school pharmacy, drugstore. What? What is this, a locksmith haunted baraboo, okay. Little flower store. This is like a town that's just stuck in the 1980s. I think I found my new favorite place. come in I always say I'm gonna collect lunch boxes and I have no room for them I, <laughs> I started young but look at that these are your your collection uh, I mean I have more but oh my goodness these are so California raisins Rambo ET wow you're amazing awesome I've always wanted to collect old cameras and lunch boxes apparently yeah I'm into it I've collected all your favorite things very nice 
Witch's Welcome? What is this? Oh, blank canvas art. I'm not an artist. I've tried. Put me in front of a blank canvas and all you're gonna get is a mess and a bunch of wasted paint. Terrible artist. I can put together TV shows, that's what I do. Buttons Art Tattoo Studio. This is a little Christmas shop or something. A little, another thrift store. I have the Beholder closed. Wisconsin just shuts down. Crystal therapy. This is like a little metaphysical city. It's like little uh, metaphysical type stuff everywhere. Wow. Baraboo. Never heard of it. I'm such a fan of this little city. They were so right. This is stuck in the 80s, basically. Another antique store. Oh. And I'm stuck in the 80s. I'm not saying that is a bad thing. Oh, the Mexican restaurant is. Is it open? Look at this. Where are we? Oh, man. No. Okay. <laughs> Wow, this is cool. This is what a music store should look like. No more guitar singers or anything, just some local guys selling what they can sell. Love this. Looks like they got lessons. A little rehearsal space. Dude, this is a great rehearsal space. As somebody who's been in a lot of bands, I have practiced in a lot worse than that. That is fantastic. And I guess in Baraboo, there's probably only a couple bands, I imagine. But he's rocking out. That was awesome. Ooh, what is the Spin Shack? Video games, CDs, vinyl, movies. It was open. Guess we'll see. Hooray. Wow, this is awesome. These things, I'm kind of bummed it did. Oh, I used to have all of these, man. They used to smell like this toxic plastic, but it was so distinct. Here I'm sniffing Smurfs. At least it's Smurfette. Ooh. Okay. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. It is very a little back to the future ish ish. Back to the future ish. That's hard to say. Oh, this is the Al Ringling Theater. Uh, they showed me a picture of that. I wonder if the box office people are here. Hey, it says they are. I'm gonna look at it. Wow, Al Ringling is, uh, has good taste. You know what's funny? This looks a lot like Liberace's bedroom. I'm not making that up. We filmed there about a year and a half ago and it looked exactly like this. Same ceiling and everything. Oh, I love this original ticket booth. I don't know if it's original because that's plastic, but it just looks cool. The frame has to be, right? There's Al. Oh my goodness, look at this place. What? It's a little bigger than Liberace's bedroom, but... Wow, the balconies are so cool. I always wanted to be one of the rich... Yeah, it's not, it's not a balcony. It's a bo they're boxes. Wow. That's how they're structured. And they sell them as VIP tickets now, or...? Yeah, they're, they're, we sell them as boxes. And so the front two we never sell because they are actually considered obstructed view. Yeah, it goes on and on. Um, so the six million dollar renovation that went in. Um, oh, the echo, yeah. the the acoustics here are insane. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. A 
That's the, uh, what are those two old guys on the Muffets that sit up in the balcony? My son knows them. I always forget their names, but. Waldorf and. Something, yeah, Waldorf and, ah, I can't remember. <laughs> so you got some big plays coming up pretty soon? Yes, a Mary Poppins opens tomorrow. Tomorrow, wow. Oh, look at the pit. So that That's a nice looking little fun kit right there. Jeez. The the Bear Blue Theater Guild has been in existence for 75 years. So they sell. They really sell them. So that is the organ that actually does center center stage is if you look um I mean, center stage. Okay. And I'm now doing... we're going to look at that first light over on top of that box and go straight up, up, past the flowers, and look for the face behind the flowers. I'm trying to find the flowers. Okay, so go straight up and see the whole bro brocade of flowers. At the very top? There's a face hiding what? behind the flowers that is looking this way. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. It's like staring at one of those things. Okay. Am I it's looking right at here. the... See the face? Right there. Ah, I see the face! <laughs> and there's another one on this side. Whose face is that? Is that Al's? Those are called the theater gods. And I... There's been stories of what they are, oh, I but see you that can one easily. only see them center front stage. Hey, Alice. Oh, yep. that is so creepy, but cool. Okay. I've always wanted to go into one of these... Maybe it was the Kennedy assassination. I mean, I'm Lincoln assassination or something. I don't know. But the coolest people always sat in these balconies. That one's got a toolbox in it. Look at this. <laughs> Hang on, I'll give you the full experience. Ready? Your seat. <laughs> this is... I'm gonna put my stuff down. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This lady's like getting off of work right now and I'm not filming here just, just for you, just for us. How nice are people around here? I love this town. I love it so much, I haven't even called my mom and showed her anything. <laughs> I mean, really? This is so cool. So, Baraboo, Wisconsin, man. You got a little piece of this heart. Whatever's left of it. Come on. How awesome was that? And to Baraboo. American Mexican food and breakfast. And the best thing is that they're open. This is cute. Los Sombreros. I'm so hungry, this is dangerous. So dangerous, because I want that, that, that. I don't even know what that, oh, salmon? Yeah, I'll take that too. Asian salmon? Okay, whatever. Look at this. Tacos. All right, back at Circus World Museum. I can pretty much park anywhere I want from what they said. That's where I parked earlier. I could park there if I want to, but there's people there. I don't want to be anywhere near, anywhere near people. All of this is Circus World, which is awesome. But they had a back lot that they said, yeah, man, pull in, you'll be, you'll be fine. Nice and quiet. Kind of counting on that. There's Circus World, awesome. Awesome place. That's gotta figure out how to get over there. It's behind the, oh, I'd love to park next to that train. I had to navigate it, but I found the secret Circus World parking lot for employees and awesome people like myself. It's not the most pitch, picturesque thing in the world, but 
it's freaking looks quiet and it's kind of awesome my name is brandon bishop i'm the executive producer for Sci tv and owner i travel the country non-stop filming amazing people telling amazing stories and when i do i live in my van and on this trip i've had some crazy crazy spots like the Badlands in South Dakota. Of course, there was a Cracker Barrel in the mix at one point. Um, the candy store last night. And tonight, <laughs> I'm in the employee parking lot of Circus World. They said, hey man, there's a lot right over there and it's empty and quiet and there's power, which Sorry, Scott. I don't think you've seen the power over here. I'm not plugging anything into that. No. Yeah. Um. No. Um. <laughs> so, but that's fine. The jackery is at 100%. All three of my jackeries are at 100%. I've got enough power to last me for a week if I use it sparingly. And tonight, all I'm doing is fan and. Uh, maybe an electric blanket if it gets chilly, but right now it feels so good. <sighs> but yeah, this is a crazy parking spot and I love it. What's next? What is next? I'm going to House on the Rock tomorrow. I'm eating breakfast at Paul Bunyan's here in town. Document your life, man. Tell your story. Leave it behind. Build a legacy. Tell, tell your story. That's what I'm doing here. So... The fact that it doesn't get 100,000 likes, who gives a crap? I would love to make that kind of extra money, sure. But um, it's not what this is about. This is about that sunset. And me looking at that sunset in 15 years going, this was a good day. Baraboo. Love this town, man. Uh, uh, what an interview. Uh, thank Hello, Paul. You ready to cook a lot of food? Because I'm hungry. Okay. Got my new hoodie on. It's not perfect, but it works. You get in this place. There's blue. Hey, blue. Well, there will be purchases made here. So is this what comes with it here? Yes, sir. Flapjacks, yes, sir. sausage in kielbasa, eggs, camp fried potatoes, biscuit. Oh, cool. It's amazing. Buttermilk donuts, huh? Uh huh. And they're fresh made every morning right here in the back. Yes. Apple yeah, we'll juice, orange juice, white milk. Orange juice actually sounds great. How neat. Again, when I left Colorado Springs, I had no idea <laughs> where I, I had no idea about this. I knew about Wisconsin Dells and I heard, heard about this restaurant, but I had no idea I'd be here because I forgot about it. You never know where you end up. I'm gonna get a shirt that says that so I don't have to keep saying it over and over and over again. I go wandering around and I come back and there's a donut waiting for me. Look at that. This donut. Donut and coffee. What an amazing way to start this amazing day. That's a good donut.
All I can eat? Yeah, all you can eat. Mm, are you sure about that? Yeah, I brought you some portions to see if you like everything. Okay, uh, a little sample plate. Sausage. The donut was good. Yeah, those are my favorite, buttermilk sugar donuts. Mm. Don't let me forget to take my blood pressure medication. We have scrambled eggs. Yay. We have fried potatoes, camp fried potatoes. Kielbasa and sausages. You're the coolest, thank you. Yeah, of course. I'll check back in a few moments. Cool. Gravy and biscuits and gravy. And of course, flapjacks. I think I'm gonna go at this like a skillet type of thing. Like just I'm gonna try everything first. I mean, I'm sure eggs are just eggs. Eggs are good. Very buttery. But if I put everything in there, in the potatoes. Okay. Sausages in the potatoes. Try the sausage. It's good sausage. Oh, it's really good sausage. Yeah. Mix that up with a little country gravy on top. Got a skillet. I think that's smart. Really good. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Mm -hmm. I'm in. This was fun. Very good food. Very fun people. And I'm um, stuffed. But I gotta go. I gotta go. I didn't even see the ox over there. There's Blue. There's Blue. Hey, Blue.